Hi guys, welcome to a new riff lesson. Today we're going to look at A Night to Remember by Shalimar. Good funky little tunies, great single note funk line. Okay, let's get started. Bar, well the first bar, it's not bar one, it's like a pickup bar. And we're going to play on the second half of beat four. And we're just going to play the open D with a down and an up. So it kind of goes one, two, three, Four. Like that. Okay, bar number one, beat number one, we're going to play the open D again with an up down. Like that. Beat two, we're going to play frets three and five, and we're going to play these staccato fashion, which means we're going to cut them off really short. Um, most of the notes are played this way, being fair. Um, you can either put your pick straight back on the string to cut them off, or relax your finger as soon as you've played the note. Both will give you the right effect. Or even both, if you want to. So that's um, beat number two, both with down picks. And then beat three, we're just going to slide into fret seven with a down stroke. Then beat four, we're going to play five zero seven I'm going to slide into seven and the picking is down down up like that so I'll put the pickup bar and bar one together you'll get one two three four like that okay bar number two um, beat number one just playing the second half of the beat on the one end, and we're just going to play five staccato down stroke. Okay, beat two, we're going to play five zero seven down down up and slide into seven like that. And then on the second half of beat three, we're going to play five again, nice and short like that. Then we're going to move position for beat number four and play five, five, seven. And the picking is down, down, up. Like that. Okay. Beat, uh, sorry, bar number three, beat one. We're just going to play fret eight, just with two down strokes. And again, nice and cut off. Then beat two, play eight one more time then play um, fret number five on the G string, like that. So the first two beats, like that. Beat three is a slide into fret seven on the D. Then beat four is going to be five, zero, seven, down, down, up, slide into seven. Go. That's uh, bar number three. Like that. Then the last bar, beat number one on the second half, down stroke on the five on the D. Then beat two, we're going to play three zero seven. Down, down then up with a slide into seven, like that. Okay, 
Um, beat number three on the second half of the beat with a downstroke, fret number five. Then on the final beat, beat number four, we play three zero zero on the D on the D string, and that's down down up. Okay, like that, and then what that does that just loops around to the beginning of bar one again. And the whole riff just kind of cycles around like that. Um, other things I should probably mention about this. Um, I think on the record there's a slight slapback delay. I think I added about 30 or 40 millisecond delay on the uh, on the guitar track with just a, a zero feedback. So it's just one single repeat. Just uh, It sounds like that's what they're doing on the record. It just kind of thickens up the sound a little bit. Uh, common, commonly used on these sort of tunes actually. Much more than you might first realise. Um, other than that, the way he's playing it, I think he's really picking quite hard to get a nice, snappy, funky sound out of the guitar. So that's that's something else to watch out for. Um, chords that he's playing over the top of, the whole thing's in the key of D minor. Um, so he's using predominantly notes from the D minor pentatonic scale to play over this chord sequence. The chords, bar number one, is just a D minor seven. Then over uh, the second bar, it's an A minor seven, and then it kind of modulates. It changes key and goes um, C minor seven, then an F seven, and then B flat, B flat major seven. Go. That's the uh, the chords underneath the riff. Uh, hope you have fun with this one, guys, and I'll see you for the next one real soon.